There just seems to be chaos. Continuous chaos in the uh, You're absolutely right, there is chaos. First of all, they haven't played very well and they've looked way off the pace, they look disorganised. Then you've got a manager that's made it clear that he doesn't want two of the players, Gareth Bale, James Rodriguez. And now the chairman, or the, the president, is saying we might have to keep those. So he's undermining the, the, the coach to a certain degree. This isn't going to end well, I don't think, for no. Zidane. I think Zidane is in, a, is in a real problem at the moment. He's in a real state because he wants to get rid of those players. He doesn't want them around his street. So he's spending all his time worrying about that rather than actually coaching the team. It, when you've been a coach, and, and Stevie will, will, will uh, clarify this, once you've got players that you don't want at your club and they're the talk of the, of the press all the time and you're being asked questions all the time, you concentrate more on that than you start to do on the players that you really want. They affect the dressing room. They affect your mental... Uh, what you're trying to do mentally with the rest of the players. They affect what you're doing on the training field. And that's what's happening at Real Madrid at the moment. Uh, yesterday, when we mm. talked about Liverpool's pre-season form, they hadn't won, of course, in their matches, you were like, well, don't worry, because... Mm. As a professional, when it comes to something that matters, you kind of go up that extra gear, it clicks mm. into place. So are we reading too much in to Real Madrid's pre-season form? No, I don't think we are, no. The, the, there's a difference between Liverpool and Real Madrid. The difference between Liverpool is the group of players that Liverpool have showed last year and have done for, a, what, maybe two seasons, what they're all about, what they're capable of and where the standards are and what you can expect. Real Madrid, on the other hand, over the same period of time, have been a nut of shambles. And because they've gone out and signed some players, we think that that's going to change. And then they step on the field and it's a nut of shambles again. So you, the, you have no reason to be confident. The reason I'm confident is because of what Liverpool have done over the last 18 months on the field. The reason Real Madrid cannot be confident at all is because they look as though they're going from one shambles yeah. into another shambles. With Liverpool, you can still see what they're trying to do. Still the same shape, it's the same manager trying to get the same sort of a style out of the players. When I watch Real Madrid, I'm not sure what they're trying to do, both defensively and when they've got the ball. There's been no pattern of play, there's been no sort of uh, identity to the way they're trying to play. Defensively, they're booing all over the shot. The two centre-halves are trying to play offside when Plick will run in between them when there's time on the player on the ball. Everything about Real Madrid at the moment is a shambles. How does Zidane fix it? Well, he's got to get out on the training field. That's the first thing he's got to do and work with his staff and say, right, we've got to get back to the basics. This is what we've got to do. We've got, he's got to get the players fixed. They don't look fit enough at the moment. And he's got to make sure they're disciplined with their organisation. Too many times in those first two games, we talked about the centre-halves, the full-backs, Marcelo's high up the field when they haven't really got good possession. The right-back, whoever it's been, whether it's been Carvajal or, or the Rizzola, they've been in, out of position. The holding midfield player, Tony Kroos, it's Casemiro who's going to come back, but Tony Kroos... Obviously, can't get around the field. But it's pre-season, as... isn't it? It, it? it is pre-season, but I've seen too many sides in pre-season. When you've been that bad, you're not suddenly going to turn it on come the first day of the season. This is so bad from Real Madrid. They might scrape a victory, but their form is so bad they're going to have a poor start the, to the season. The thing is, as well, Zidane. Most most coaches at this stage of the year, the only thing they have to worry about is fixing what's going on on the field. But now he's gone from. You know, being in such a great position, going to Perry and saying, OK, I'll come back, yeah. but I need this, this, this and this. And he's bowing down, yes, mm. absolutely. To now, it's almost like he's hanging on. The Perez is telling him right. what's going to happen instead of him telling him what he needs in order to succeed. So he's gone from the... the you talk about a, a, a place of strength to know where we're all asking questions how long this guy's going to last. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.